don't influence anybody else's opinion. Well, I want you to go first. Rodri or Busquets? Chat, let me know. Right now, it's Busquets. No, I don't. Who cares Rodri has the right potential. Now? Who cares no, about right I'm, now? I'm yeah, but I'm saying Rodri has the what, potential. Hold up, Lee, Lee, Lee. You'll get your time. My bad. My bad, Who's yeah. a better player? Prime Rodri, prime Busquets. I don't think that's fair. Oh, oh, no, no, I'll tell you why. 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 I think what makes CDMs great is a necessary. Like, they're not doing insane skills. They're not doing insane, like, in terms of positioning or whatever. It's not like something that's, like, going to really stick out to, like, they're the best dribbler, the best that. That's not what it is. I think what makes CDMs so great is how effective they are for their team. But you don't really see that until you look at the full picture. Like you don't see it until you see it over season after season after season. You're not gonna you're not gonna watch five games and be like, this guy's the best CDM in the world. That's not that's no, not what's no, gonna no, happen. No, no, no. You have to have a body of work. They both have extensive yeah. bodies of work. You're starting currently Busquets. Roger has the potential, in my opinion, to become the best. I'm not talking about what's the better Busquets. resume. I'm talking about if I, if you're telling me to take somebody in their prime, I take Busquets as of right now. But but, but it's a, a conversation years, for you though. Yeah, it could be it that's could become Roger in a few Based, years. That's, that's what I'm saying. Lee. <laughs> Please go ahead. I, I'm going to pick Rodri. And the reason why I'm picking him is because, like, at least when we were watching Barca growing up and in, even the, towards his latter years, I only saw one Busquets. Mm -hmm. I've seen three Rodri's now, depending yeah. on what the team needs of him. Like, I don't think Busquets <laughs> is this versatile. Man. Like, I just oh. don't think he's this versatile. Away. With the goals and assists, like going stepping into the attacking play, going back playing center back, like I just don't think Busquets was this physically gifted. He just wasn't. Yeah. Like if we're being but really, really honest, I'm not taking anything away from Busquets. Like he is a uh, he's one of the goats for sure. Table table two midfielder in my opinion. Table mm. two, table three midfielder of all time. But I dropped. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah now table two, table three. Yeah, for much for all time. Hey. But Rod, but Rodri. Bro, he's showing us things that's like I, I seen. Uh, it was the anniversary of uh, of assigning him like a couple weeks ago, and it said that he scored twenty seven goals for the club. Bro, <laughs> those must be the the loudest twenty seven. Like we could rattle off almost all of them. Yeah, like that's crazy, no, no, bro. He's, he's OD. Hold up, I just want to get to a quick message in the chat. Peter said Busquets because you saw what Rodri can do in the first half of that final. I don't know what he means. By I think he means. Yeah. I, I, I'd say I think the only thing you could say Busquets is out and out better than when you compare the two is Busquets is a master at like faking people out. He's maintaining that ball in his team. He's a perfect like keeping the tempo type yeah. of midfielder. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, Rodri, no. Rodri keeps is a great great player in terms of maintaining the ball and keeping the tempo. But Busquets, I think, is just that much better. Yeah, yeah. He, he, Rodri, Rodri, Rodri is just a like goal you said, threat. Lee, like he's a goal but, threat. Like you said, like, Lee. That's he's more different... versatile. Yeah. He's way more versatile. No, that that overall package is unbelievable. He's not it's too crazy. He has nines yeah. or tens yeah. everywhere across the board. Yeah, he's cheating. Yeah, Ball he's striking, cheating. passing, yeah, yeah. tempo, tackling. <laughs> bro, his tackling is so underrated. Bro, even even uh, like one thing that I noticed, and I know we're gonna talk about England after. But there's one thing that I noticed is like Jude is a eight playing the 10, playing false nine. Like, why does Rodri have, like, quicker feet, quicker, like, transition, quicker everything when he receives the ball and everything? Like, that, that's, that's not even supposed to be happening. As good as Jude Spanish is. Spanish tech. It's just crazy. It's just no, weird. No, Spanish no, tech. 100%. Because for me, I think Busquets definitely has the best resume. But as a footballer, overall footballer, Busquets edges him one category. Rodri beats him every Yeah. For me, for and, me. And, 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 and I'll, I'll, I'll credit, I'll credit Pep, I'll credit Pep a lot. He he helped this guy a lot. I will yeah. say that. Plus, I was that first season, that first season was tough.